So for this video, which I'm making into a new thought bubble video, I'm gonna talk about XN. I'm not gonna be hating on them or criticizing the members and being like they suck ass. But I'm gonna share my honest opinions on them as a group. So for those who don't know XN, they're a five-member girl group under Escrow Entertainment and debuted with members Roa, Caillou, Isha, Nova and Arya with the song Keeping the Fire officially on April 11th. The cool thing about them is that they have a Russian member and an Indian member. I love that Arya debuted because she's the second Indian idol in K-pop more brown Asian representation after Shreya in Black Swan. So Exxon have been getting a lot of attention mostly because of Arya and Nova the Indian and Russian members. Also recently, Arya went viral in China on Weibo for her visuals. They have their pre-debut song performance MV at 500k plus views, their debut song MV at 200k plus views and their sub count at 90k plus views. While I love that they're getting more attention as a group from an unknown company, I also hate it. The main reason being their badly vocally edited pre-debut song Who Am I? The vocal editing of the song, it gives Nugu smaller company vibes talking about the companies who can't make good vocally edited songs, and not every Nugu smaller company. But at least their debut song sounds better in the vocal editing department. This could lead the group to be getting hate because the company couldn't get good producers, leading people to call them talentless and things just because of their badly vocally edited song when a bad vocally or good vocally edited song doesn't determine the talent of an idol, but the idols themselves and this is why I hate it because of the unnecessary hate that the group could face. Don't know if they're getting any at the moment. Another thing I don't like about Exxon is their company giving them a girl crush song for their debut. Their pre-debut song was a nicer vibe. I mean, yes. Girl Crush isn't terrible, but some K-pop fans see it as overdone and if K-pop stands. Stumble upon the group, some could listen to the song and not find the group interesting because of the bad vocal editing and the fact that it's a Girl Crush song, some K-pop stands, I believe that they exist, dismiss a group instantly if they don't find them interesting or don't like the song they stumbled upon of the group and might not want to support them to see what different things they could do in the future. Also another thing I hate about the song Keeping the Fire that is, is that it's kinda messy and a little loud and you're hurting. I don't mind noise music, and I've grown to love Keeping the Fire and it sounds better as a song and it grew on me really easily and quickly, I still think that it being noisy is a bad thing. Even though noise music isn't a bad thing, K-pop stands view it as such and could just dismiss X in, the same way I talked about above, with their song being Girl Crush. Also the slight messiness of their song is also why I don't like XN. The song isn't extremely messy, but there are parts that do sound off, and make the song come off as somewhat messy, and because of these things, they might not be able to build their fandom more. I mean, yes, they're getting quite a bit of attention but these reasons might not help them build their fan base even more bigger. These are my reasons for my hate towards XN as a group, their music and things and not the members. Now let's move on to things that I like about them. I love that their MV looked high budgeted and it always makes me shook when a new company has such a good MV budget, but I love it. I love how Keeping the Fire sounds better vocally edited than Who Am I, even though it still has its flaws, but despite that the company did a decent enough job. I also love that I watched Keeping the Fire's live stage. They did a live stage before their official debut where they all sang mostly live and didn't lip sync. Sure it wasn't that good of a performance, but at least they sang live and I hope they continue to do it and improve their live performance skills. So in conclusion, they need to work on their music. Their pre-debut song had bad vocal editing, and their debut song had a little too much noise in some parts, and was slightly messy in some parts. Their debut song was just your typical badass girl crush song, which doesn't make X and stand out as a group. So far the only thing that makes them the slightest bit unique, is having Nova and Arya in the group, that's all. Besides that they haven't shown us yet what makes them interesting. I understand that this is just their debut and I should give them some time, but when people see a just debuted group, and don't like the song they debuted with, they would might not wanna stand because they find the group uninteresting, as I said previously. So that's why I'm saying it. I will continue to follow them, to know what their future comebacks bring, because keeping the fire is becoming more of a bop for me as I listen to it more, and it makes me wanna stand them, and I will.
I just hope that their music quality and music overall becomes better, because so far I don't think their two songs are amazing, as I already mentioned why, and I hope that they continue to have the same high budget looking MVs for their future releases, because even though the MV wasn't outstanding, everything about it was well done, and it looked really good without being over the top and too much. I also hope that they continue to sing live on live stages, like I saw their one performance, and won't lip sync much. So that's all I have to say. Bye. Who am I? Oh, oh, oh. Not a